Just another day down here at the shop. And what we got going on is we got the Beamer on the lift finally. We're gonna do a little oil change on it and we're gonna fix this freaking exhaust because I'm pissed. Because a stupid thing blew out on me. So now I got a blown out donut gasket on this junk exhaust, which can't get fixed, so. Maybe it can, maybe it can. Maybe we can bang this out and like get this out and figure out how to do this. But we're gonna go ahead, try to fix this exhaust, do the oil change really quick, which should take a couple minutes and we'll be right back. So let's, let's keep going on this. So guys, the oil change went pretty smooth, except for this big oil spill on the ground. But I had to just wipe down the rest of the oil that's on the oil pan right here. And now we are on to trying to weld this thing back together. So. I tried to get the stud out, didn't really work. So I'm just gonna leave that in there. I'm gonna just try to weld all the way around the entire thing. If you can see it, it's just a little bit wet on this side. So I have to get rid of that water so that actually, the weld actually sticks. So I have to do that. And then we should be pretty good. The only thing I have to worry about is a lot of hard downshifts again, and then breaking this side right here. So, um, We'll eventually get a full exhaust for this thing and it'll end up cutting right here, right there. So that's what's going on with that. But now we're gonna set up the welder and go ahead and try to weld this thing. Welding going on here, um, definitely not the best welds, but all I'm trying to do is make it so that the exhaust doesn't leak. So if this works, we're golden. If it doesn't, we're fucked. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to weld it all back together, get it good. I have to actually weld the top because I haven't done that one yet, but this whole side here is basically done. I got a little bit extra to do up there, but um, what I have to do is I'm gonna actually lower it down right now put the oil in it, finish doing the oil change, change the filter and all that. And then we're going to go ahead and start it up really quick. See if it leaks. If it doesn't leak, we're good. If it does, I had to finish welding and do some more, but I'm hoping that it doesn't leak and we could just be on our way and do something else. So let's go ahead and go back up top and do that. Oh yeah, guys. And if you guys look right here, there's still a lot of wheel gap in between the, the actual rim and the inner the lower control arm so what i'm going to try to actually do is i think i'm going to buy rack spacers for this thing and i might even buy lower or outer tie rod ends so that i can get just a little bit more clearance on these things um i think that this might hit if i do rack spacers uh so what i'll do is i'll probably end up getting both at the same time but i'm going to try to find a set of rack spacers for this thing I saw some guy do it on the internet uh, or on YouTube and he it added, I think, all together by putting the outer tie rod ends and the rack spacers. I think he gained another like, I want to say three inches, but it might be less than that. But still, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big gain. So um, we're going to do it in steps like he did it. I'm going to do the inner, I'm going to do the, I'm actually just going to do the rack spacer first and then I'll do the outer tie rod end. But um, I'm gonna do that. And um, hopefully we can just get rid of this little gap right here. And so that when I'm doing a little bit of street drifting, I have more of a steering angle to correct myself and do stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that too. Uh, probably later on this uh, next, over the weekend maybe, or early next week, we'll see. Um, and then yeah, let's go up top like I said. So guys, what we got going on here is What we have going on here is we got a lot of globs, lots and lots of globs. Hopefully this doesn't leak. This is the pretty much the last time that I'm going to do this because if it does after this, I'm just going to leave it until we go turbo, which could be in two weeks or it could be in six months. So let's hope it's sealed for right now. And Carlos, is, are you doing something weird behind me? No, that, uh, glob see that? Glob. That's Ray Charles right there. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dude. So we're gonna hope that it doesn't leak. Cross fingers, there's oil in it now. I checked that um, and gotta clean this up still because I forgot to do that. 
and yeah, we're going to do the angle kit later on this week. And we're just going to finish up the video, tell you what's going on around the shop, and do something else for the rest. Bert, what you got to say? A couple things to say. Okay, Bert. One, the police is a vital part of society. The police? Yes. Not the band, like the actual police. Okay. I know that it makes it, makes it, what? Number two. Okay. Number three. Profit. Okay. That's it. Stop shouting, Bert. So, guys, sadly, the BMW still leaks. The exhaust is still not fixed. But, oh, it's totally 100% my fault for trying to take on something I could not with racing. But, <clears throat> my car is slow. I've come to, come to know that. And, um, it's, it's getting super late. So I don't really want to like put a video out at 1 a.m., but I think that's what's going to happen. So um, the last little thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull off the radiator fan really quick. And I'm actually going to look and see about all the pulleys that are on this thing because it's making a super bad noise and I hate it. So I'm going to pull off a couple of the clips, take off the intake and look at that really quick. And then we're going to clean up the shop just a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to really film that, but I'm going to film this little thing and then we'll probably call it a day on this and get ready for something else tomorrow. So, um, yeah, Carlos, what do you want to do tomorrow? I want to try to conquer the world and drink alcohol. Sounds sick. Do you want to do, would you like to do that while working on a freestyle? Does that mean your headliner? No, 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 not my headliner. If, they, oh, if you're talking about that headliner, that headliner you can just rip out with your bare hands if you want. You mean the ute? Yes, the ute. Okay. Yes, I, I can help you work on the ute so that you can actually make it to Australia. Sweet. Thanks. Cool. We got to make it waterproof now again. I have a tarp at the house. Sick. What are you going to do tomorrow? I got to go yell at some human people at the board and get my car. Gotcha. Dan, you want to add to this? Can't put that in the video, but... Okay. Okay, so we're going to try to do a bunch of stuff, but not Dan's thing. And, um... Sometimes I bleep, sometimes I cut. Depends. So we're just going to continue with some other stuff. So guys, what's going to end up happening with this thing is we're just going to... I checked out a couple things when I was listening to it, when it was like idling. A bunch of stuff was making some noise. Like a lot of this stuff seems like it's bad. So I don't really know what to really rule out as the main key on what makes it whine and do a bunch of weird sounding stuff. So what's going to happen is when this thing goes turbo and the 180 is a lot more done than it is. And the 180, the one, well, and the 180 is basically where it needs to be and the G37 is driving, so I have another daily driver. This thing will get put off to the side and get put in the back, and I will buy the turbo kit for this. And when I buy the turbo kit for this, this car will probably be down for like, we're gonna say a month, because it shouldn't take me that long to do it. Because when I buy the turbo kit, it comes with everything. Then after that, I gotta buy all of the gaskets for the motor and just do a bunch of stuff for the motor. I buy a fuel rail, fuel injectors, other little things like that. But um, this stuff will be done. And then um, this should only take about a month to do on the side. So I'm actually really looking forward to this project because this is going to be an easier project for me to do. Um, you spend the 1500 you get everything done, and you get all the parts, and it's basically just put it in. Get a couple things made up like an exhaust and get your intake stuff done and you're golden. So this is actually an, imp an easy project. So this one will be done. But like I was saying, I'm going to wait just till fi to figure out and buy all new parts when I do all this stuff. So once again, the Beamer is just like getting neglected and the exhaust is still leaking and making a bunch of noise and some crap. So that's how that's going. Um, over here on the 370, we got 
the, 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 the oil cooler was giving me some trouble, so I decided to take the front off and do some other stuff. The, um, what, which one was this one? This one is the power steering cooler. This cooler will also be mounted back here all nicely and neatly and done up. And then what I did on the back today was I got the exhaust on, I got the drive shaft in, I got the plate back underneath here, and there was a couple little bushing things that needed to be put on the back back here, so all of that was done. Everything's tightened back up. Um, I actually have to tighten up the exhaust because I just noticed that, but the exhaust needs to be tightened up. Then we can tighten up the down pipes again, get all that stuff good, and just start going through the front and putting things back on. Um, like the plate that's over there and that brace, that needs to go back on. And then we can just button up the rest of the stuff and be done with this thing. So um, this thing should be running early next week. Or it should be running like the weekend, but driving early next week. And then we just got to get it aligned again because when you take steering stuff off, it should be aligned again. And then it should be good. We got to do the fuel pump thing. That one I will actually do a really good video on, a full thing, because that's actually a really interesting thing. He's got this big fuel pump that is going to go in here, um, right here. It's like a whole canister thing that we need to put dual fuel pumps in and wire all this stuff in with some nice braided lines and whatnot. Put another fuel filter in underneath the car and stuff like that. So lots of it, lots of, lots of good content that I should be filming in the next couple days. So let's hope, get this stuff done. We'll be back later.